No, I, I said that I had something come up at one, so I don't know if it's gonna go over. If it goes over, I might have to reschedule us. Um, which it didn't. I got back in time. That's what I meant by it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But definitely appreciate you for still being able to make it though in time. Um, and we'll just kind of take it from there. All right. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. So how are you doing overall? Oh, I'm just, I'm just so tired. Really? It's yeah. Fun. Uh, I don't know. I just been so busy. I didn't have enough sleep. I slept. Uh, busy. You know, taking care of the girls. Or yeah, right? yeah. Taking care okay. of the girls, and then uh, oh, man, I was so tired. I would try to take a nap. You know. Mm -hmm. I mean, are they at school right now today? Uh, yeah. yeah. Now, so you have to go pick them up later. Yeah, that's cool. That's good. Has everything been since the last time we talked? With the, you know, the I wife? Mean, everything is good. Everything is good. Everything is good. There's hasn't been any really, any changes. Any thing? Yeah. Like as far as like what? Good changes, bad changes? Is that what you mean by that? No, that. Well, the only changes is uh, I cut my own hair the other day and she got mad. She got mad at you for cutting your own hair? Yeah, she said I look, I look crazy, and then I had uh, my cousin came and he fixed it for me. Okay, so this is not the the this is the final product after yeah. your cousin fixed it for you. Okay, did, did did you agree with her when she said that that I look crazy or? Well, yeah, I agree with her. It looked pretty bad because, you know, I can reach it out in the back and, you know, uh -huh. I, I didn't know, you know, I could just cut the side because I was just cutting the side, you know, in the back. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then uh, when he came over, he fixed it. So that's, okay. Mm -hmm. That's good news. Did you make you pay him? No, no, no. I didn't pay him anything. <laughs> he probably was like, oh, you know, I came all the way out here just to fix your hair up, so you gotta pay me up. Nah, he came over to eat and, you know. Okay, spend time, is that something you normally do with your family? No, uh, yeah, yeah, when they get up with early, they used to come by. Cause, okay. uh, my, so it's not, it's uh, not normal. Yeah, because that well, one is my niece. The guy is like my my kind of my nephew-in-law, not really, you know, my cousin, my nephew-in-law. Because uh, my niece is my godmother to uh, Emily, so she comes over quite often. So she brings him, and then you know. He, He's good with cutting hair, I guess. So he can fix my hair. So he's good in cutting hair? Yeah. That's good. Um, what did you end up doing after that? I mean, he said normally whenever they get off, that's when you're actually able to actually have, uh, you know, they come over, spend time, they get off work on time. Um, mm -hmm. Outside of that, I mean, uh, is there anybody else that you actively spend time with outside of, uh, you know, family? Uh, uh, not really. Not really. I guess therapy, therapy and your uh, appointments is like the main thing that you do. Yeah. Okay. How did your uh, meeting go with, because I remember you said you went there at the wrong time and they had to reschedule you with the doctor, I forget his name. Uh -huh. um, oh. So how did that go? It went fine. I got my medication. Okay, so it was just an update on like your medication. That's pretty much all. That yeah. Was what's for. Okay. We don't. We usually, you know, we don't. We usually don't talk. and just say how you doing. Can you sleep and all that. Mm -hmm. Right. So the yeah, part you said that there was some medication that you needed uh, to sleep. Do you feel like you still need those medications to sleep, or something going on with that? Not today. 
the day I was dead tired and you know, I didn't need no medication. I was just like, Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Um, what's going on? What about your goals? Mm-hmm. Um, how's that? How's that been going lately? When it comes to like your self-esteem, do you feel like has it been up and down? Has it just been regular? I guess you could say. Uh, um, how would you say it is it's, nowadays? It's there's been no really no changes. I just mean, good. About as far as what? You said no changes as far as what? No changes, uh, you know, I mean, it's just the same, you know, when I spoke to you last, it's just the same. Like I said, I'm just a little bit exhausted, you know. Okay. So what do you think as far as like the thing that nothing is changing when it comes to your, uh, um, you know? The, uh, when it comes to you said nothing's being changed, it's been the same. Is there anything that you're actually doing to kind of make sure that some things do change or what's, how's that looking like? Well, you know, I mean, everything, the children are good. Mm -hmm. I'm good. So, you know, I really don't want it to change. I don't want it to change to something bad, you know? Right, right. But I thought you wanted to improve in something. Self esteem goes as far as you know, overall. Well, I, my, my self esteem is good when the children is happy, you know. The only mm-hmm. thing is, you know, my wife get mad at me for is the haircut, you know. So, everything right, that was is, not, that was the last thing that happened earlier with her and stuff like that. So. Yeah, so everything was peaceful, you know. Mm-hmm. So, it has been or it was peaceful, now it's definitely not. It, 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 it's, it's still peaceful, it's just that one, you know, disagreement over the hair, that's it. That's it, so far? Yeah. I remember early, uh, two weeks ago or so, you had said that she was saying that she wanted to get divorced, but that wasn't the case anymore. Uh, you were looking to, um, you know, buy your, the, like, part of the salon for the business and uh, nothing either. So like, that's what I mean by, you know, I yeah. guess what I mean, uh, Well, it looks like they don't want to sell. They, they, uh, they, my brother and his wife went to uh, Vail, Colorado. Mm-hmm. Vail, Colorado. And, and my other brother came to uh, work to, you know, take his place. And it's, it's, it's good, it just, it's, yeah, it's, it's, they already, you know, I mean, I don't think they're going to sell anyway, you know, and like I said, I really, uh, no, you know, I think that being, just a nail tech working there is better than being an owner, you know? Right. You talk about it like your wife or you specifically? My wife. I think it's easier, it's better because, you know, being an owner, you have to have a lot of responsibility, you know? You got to collect the wages, you know, you got to pay the wages of the employee and then you have to calculate everything, you know? Pay for the rent, you know, it's, it's too much work. I was just agreeing with her. So she would leave me alone, you know, and stop talking about it. But oh, I. Oh, so it was, it, it's only, it was only convenient for you to uh, not talk about it as much. Yeah. Okay. Alright. I mean, is that normally the way you have to do a group with her so she could stop whatever she's doing to kind of like, you know, keep you off? Um, keep you quiet and stuff like that. Is that what usually happens? Yeah, just to uh, keep keep the noise down, you know. Mm-hmm. That I don't want her to 
get her dream of owning a, a nail salon come true, you know, stop her from mm -hmm. having that, you know, I want that to uh, be a possibility, you know. Right, right. We want it to be a possibility. But you're still owning, uh, I think you said that you were supposed to talk to Noah as well. How's that been going? Is that something you actually still doing? Yeah, I'm talking to Noah, but he said that the other lady uh, was uh, on vacation. He said uh, he, he apologized. Uh, he said that lady was supposed to call me, but she was on vacation. So he apologized. Oh, the, uh, which, which lady? The house in... Uh... Oh, okay. I think I know you're talking about. The lady for that was supposed to give you uh, uh, the class of the days and stuff like that. Maybe I can attend and stuff? I think so. Okay. Okay, I think I know you're talking about. Because um, I had, I think I had a couple other clients who were um, who's going through it as well, trying to, you know, own a property, pay less rent, even have the funding available for them and stuff like that. So they're definitely been trying in that area um, to make sure that works. You know what I mean? I, I just hope you continue with it. Um, when is she supposed to come back? I have no idea. No, I haven't uh, followed up with me. So, I mean, did you guys just meet not long ago? Or? Well, we've I, been, we've been doing it. Week. We've been having, like, communication, like, with you for, like, almost at the same time. We do? At the same time? Yeah. I mean, the, 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 the same day, the same date. The same month? The same, same day and same month? The like, yeah. Yeah, when I start talking to you, I was talking to Noah. Okay, you're saying to start, not like continue. As in like, um, you know, I'm sorry, you know what I mean by that. Yeah, That's but, like, but, but we don't, time. yeah, we don't talk like every week, you know. He gave me some, uh, you know, like to, uh, lower the payment for my credit card and and to pay it all off so i don't owe too much and all that he gave me some uh, some things to do and uh, so it would be better for me so i could be approved mm -hmm. yeah so it's just right now that you see your debt in order for you to make it to where you're trying to go as in like you know on your own house Right? Yeah. Right uh huh. To decrease my debt and my credit and improve my credit. I'm trying to improve my credit so you know they wouldn't deny me. Uh -huh. And so you debt the uh, I think they call it what the debt debt to income ratio is like lower and stuff like that. That's where that goes. Yeah. What about when it comes to, uh, I know we definitely discussed, uh, you know, when it comes to your uh, uh, self-esteem, but what about your anxiety and depression? Um, I mean, you know that part of it is probably due to the lack of sleep. Whenever you don't have the medication to be able to sleep, do you, have you ever heard that before? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, so you know, it's like a part of that um, piece of like, you know, if you're trying to like, um, get better overall, sleeping is going to be a big internal part into your health, making sure that you do get, get enough rest because whenever you don't sleep, you get to the point where you are exhausted, you get to the point where, um, you know, it kind of causes like you to not be yourself, I guess, in a lot of ways as well, um, to a point where, you know, you might have to lose when it comes to specific things and stuff like that, so sleep is going to be a very big part of where you are right now. Um, or are you taking any medication for um, the anxiety or depression? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's like one pill every, every night. For the anxiety and depression or? Yeah, for the depression and anxiety, yes. Okay, and how's that been working? It's still working fine. It's still working fine? Yeah. Like it's not, it's not affecting you in a bad way? The yeah, I, right now, the I, dosage. yeah, no, I mean it's fine, I have no side effects. No side effects. Yeah, no side effects. It's good news. It, it, it's, Normally, it's like it lightens my load. It lightens your load, uh, meaning 
line, uh, you know, all the stress. Yeah. Yeah, it's continuous. Yes. Continuous every, every night uh, at a specific time. Yes. What? Uh, I go to bed. Right before you go to bed. Yeah. Uh, have you Have you noticed a, a difference in your? I don't know. Like, in your anxiety the first time you take it, or it's just it's about the same? Well, it it. It, like I said, it's uh, it's the uh, it steals all the you know all the stress and uh, the anxiety from me. And uh, but you know I've been tired lately because you know my Emily is growing up and she's like uh, you know she's almost she's almost two and she's beginning to walk so she just like messes around, she don't sleep until like, you know, even when we turn on the light, turn off the light, she's still crawling around, you know, and all that, just yeah. playing. So that's why yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm like exhausted. Okay. Yeah, so it's mainly her when it comes to uh, your job. Um, and what about your other one? You said her name is what? Your Avery. Yes, she's going to school and she's, you know, she's eating well and all that, so she's, she's good. The little one is getting more energetic, as you say. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. More energetic. Um, that's good. That's good. So everybody so far is doing really well. It's just a matter of, like you said, um, definitely struggle a little bit with the sleep, but you've been exhausted. Lately, so it's just kind of like really kind of helpful right now for you to get some rest. Um, and then apart from that, we have to get you doing really well when it comes to that. I think last week you also discussed how you were, um, whether you were, you were trying to get your knee back at some point, where you had like a bad dream. Yeah. Have you had some time to really kind of mold over and think about that? Well, uh, uh, well, yeah, no, I, I thought about it and. Yeah, you know, I wanted to uh, to do it, but um, my brother is not, you know, with with their salon, they're getting audited by the IRS, and I didn't want to bring no more trouble to them, you know, not yet, you know. So, well, you're not yet. So meaning you're waiting to for the audit audited thing to kind of like go over. And yeah. Then you want to discuss it or? Yeah. Okay. I don't want to add to their trouble, you know. Okay. Yeah. Add to the problem. Mm -hmm. Why? Why? Why do you say that? What do you? Why would you kind of like? Do that for them when I guess you could say have they been giving you the same um, leniency when it comes to specific things? Because I think you said that a couple times where well, one of your brothers I guess is the one that filed the uh, that you can't go into the hair salon thing, right? Yeah, in the nail salon. Yeah, uh, but like I said, uh, well, I'm nicer and I'm more reasonable than them. Okay, so you just you're trying to you're definitely trying to be reasonable when it comes to them. Yeah. Give them the, uh, the leeway for specific things and, you know, not causing any more issues than needs to be at the moment because of the IRS thing they have going on right now. Yeah. So I will leave it alone for a while. Yeah, absolutely. So it makes sense, though. You know, because it definitely would be difficult to continue doing that, um, kind of like, um, add more stress onto it, causing more problems for you, more issues down the line. Like you said, you're trying to work things out, we things the best way possible, but sometimes, you know, they can definitely get in the way of that too, you know what I mean? So you, you could decide like, hey, um, this is what I want to do, and then they could just go back and like, nope, I don't want this, I never want to like, you know, discuss this ever again, or like, sh ship, you, ship you out, I guess you could say, off everything, you know what I mean? Yes. It's good. So as far as I 
like that goes, uh, I think we had discussed this before when you said, um, you know, thing has been going really well. So what exactly were you looking for when it comes to community partners in general? Whenever you first signed up and everything like that, like what was that really for? Because I think I was reading your chart, you said that there was some promise made. Um, so what was that about? Well, you know, I mean, uh, we're always looking to, just to feel better, and I'm, I'm feeling better. You are feeling better at home? Yeah, I'm feeling better speaking with you. I'm feeling better, you know. Okay. I'm feeling less I mean, stress. Less stress. Has to be because, like, you're, you're getting some of the coping skills um, that come down to, like, making sure that you don't stress, or what exactly would that be? Just talking? Just talking. Just talking to you help. Right. But you know, at the end of the day, uh, Community Partners does have a limit as to, um, you know, the amount of sessions you get. Okay. It's about, what, 20, 26? So at the end of the day, we're very short term, and 26 sessions are really about, I'll say about six months or so. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, so then it comes down to how are you improving, how are you getting better? Because at the end of the day, it's like, it's, it's just talking, but that means that you probably need somebody that, to be able to communicate with if it's not your family member or a friend that you kind of like communicate with kind of like weekly just to kind of really get the support that you need when it comes to that because at the end of the day you know if it's like a goal that we're working on and um, trying to improve those goals then we have to make sure we're finding things to improve on does that make sense? I, I, I hear you yeah yeah so you said outside of your family member you don't have any friends why is that? I don't have the time and I have to clean up and all that, you know. And they cry when I'm not around, you know, when they're with me and... Right. And I need to... Okay. When they're not, you said when they're not with you? Yeah, when they're like, uh, when we're some, uh, somewhere like at my mom's house or something, you know. They don't even let my mom or my brothers carry them, you know, take care of them. They just cling to me. Uh, definitely the youngest for sure, right? The six year old, you said that just started walking. Yeah. Okay. That's good. I mean, in a way, you know, I mean that they do care about you, right? Like you're their safe space. Future wise, are you thinking about like getting like maybe going to like the because um, I'm pretty, I don't know if they do have support groups, kind of like for fathers when it comes to, you know, having kids, trying to like spend time, make friends, that comes down to like their, uh, you know, overall um, support that you kind of get from them. Do you feel like you, you want you want to, at some point, I guess, participate in those specific things? Yes, yes. You would. So it's really a matter of finding them, correct? Yes. Good to know, because then at the, at the end of the day, that means that we could definitely find the time. Or even, do you have a rap facilitator right now? What? A rap uh, facilitator? Like no, a no, no. Like a community partner? Or you wanted to get something like that? Yeah. They're supposed to get me a rap facilitator, but no, I haven't seen anything. I haven't heard anything. Oh, okay. So nothing yet, so far. Yes. No, nothing. into that for sure. I'll double check um, outside of this uh, conversation just to kind of make sure that hey, you know what, you're still on the list to get that. Um, and then hopefully we try to see what's going on because there hasn't been a lot of times where a lot of people are um, not available. You know what I mean? Like they're like booked and until they actually let people go as far as like discharge them or getting up to completion to where they're at, then that's when, um, you know, they, uh, they won't be able to do that. That's when they'll be able to assign you to that person. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. What else do you got planned for this week? Anything major? Anything big that you're trying to work on? No, this the 
Midsummer Festival, Midsummer, Mid Autumn Festival that we celebrate in my country. And uh, yeah, and they're doing like uh, an event. So we probably go into that. Uh, is it like where's it at? Is it like what? When? What's home? It's in uh, Lauderdale, I think. Lauderdale by the so it's like what? Uh, Lauderdale, maybe? Yeah, somewhere down there, Lauderdale by the sea. Yeah, it's in that the Polish center. Yeah, okay. so. That's good. Sounds some good news. on family time, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's say I hope you enjoy that. So that's going to be this week, you said. What kind of yeah. holiday? What kind of holiday is it? It's, uh, it's a mid-autumn. I don't know what kind of festival it is. There's some story to it, but I really don't know. It's right. like we're going to have like uh, a stage show with dancing and, you know, and singing okay. and all that. So. And you're obviously taking the, the girls with you, and I'm assuming your wife is going to be going as well? Yeah. Okay. It's good. It's good. Make sure you do definitely have a, you know, um, family bonding time, which is definitely important when it comes down to it. All right. Well, that's good news. I definitely am, I'm glad that you have some time.